hey guys welcome to my garden today's video is going to be about how to feed baby cabbages using chicken manure so the first step that you need to do is to uh, uh, simply start by removing the old leaves well when growing cabbages please make sure that you always uh, check for infections as you can see in this video some of the cabbages they are already starting to form some uh, firm heads and if you can also take a closer look you can simply see some of the uh, cabbages are having some uh, firm heads so this year i am I'm growing uh, two varieties of baby cabbages Throughout all these years of growing cabbages, what I have realized is that the red baby cabbages are more resistant to diseases. As you can see, the green or the white ones are the ones that are showing signs of infections more than the red ones. So if I were to choose between the red and the white cabbages, I would rather choose the red ones. But what I have also noticed about the white ones, I think the white ones, they grow faster when compared to the red ones. The red ones I take time to form some uh, firm heads. so what is the maximum period of for growing baby cabbages starting from the seed to harvest it's simply a two months you guys it's not that long so meaning the bigger cabbages they only take a uh, three months so if you want to grow cabbages a uh, faster I would advise you to grow the white baby cabbages. As you can see, they are already having this tiny and cute firm head, as you can see. But I'm just going to give them extra a few weeks slowly uh, these heads will get bigger and better so what we are doing right now as you can see in this video we are simply removing uh, the old leaves these leaves can simply allow pests uh, to pass from one baby cabbage to another and also it can also allow diseases to simply pass from one baby cabbage to another so before applying a fertilizer or a compost, you need to simply trim off these old leaves. And another thing, what I have noticed about plants, if you keep those old leaves, they won't help the plant, you guys. But they will suck up nutrients. Meaning, in other words, they will simply consume a lot from the plants so they will use more nutrients just to stay up there 
they will also uh, do what they will also suck or absorb a lot of what of um water because they will continue to photosynthesize since they are green meaning they will still photosynthesize so you need to remove all of them look at how beautiful they are without those old leaves so another thing when you remove uh, those leaves you are also creating a space for the other baby cabbages to get a little more bigger okay so uh, don't be scared and uh, remove those old leaves and another thing you realize uh, throughout this video that after trimming off those old leaves it will be easier for us to simply uh, cultivate and apply the compost or the manure that we are going to apply today so the main reason why we are not going to use the store pot manure today or the store pot fertilizer today is because it's the spring season and the spring and uh, summer seasons are considered to be a rainy seasons meaning if you if you are going to be using the store pot fertilizers it will be like we are wasting money actually because it's during the rainy seasons the store pot fertilizers they quickly dissolve and get washed off during the rainy season. They simply get washed off easily because they simply dissolve fast. So the chicken fertilizer, since we are not going to convert it into tea, we are simply going to be applying as dry as it is directly to the soil. So it will... Uh, slowly uh, decompose and turn into ammonia and then after that it will eventually turn into nitrates and uh, slowly re uh, release some other micronutrients that are needed for the growth of our baby cabbages and another thing you guys the reason why i don't advise people to use the store board fertilizers is because it is considered one of the um, human impact that might slowly destroy the environment and the question is how uh, does the use of fertilizers destroy the environment so during the rainy days the fertilizers and the pesticides that we are using on our farms and also in our gardens they get washed off easily and get into the rivers lakes and dams and eventually causes what eutrophication So in other words, I recommend the animal manure because it slowly releases the micronutrients. So another thing you guys, after trimming off the leaves, you have to uh, throw them away or just avoid using them for mulching, especially around the cabbages because you don't want to invite a pet and another thing when they start rotting they might invite bacteria or other diseases so i i will simply throw them in a compost or you can also try to bury them
Uh, so when it comes to growing cabbages, it's not easy as it seems, you guys. So you always have to check not only for growth, but also for diseases now and then. Because if you don't take a closer look, you'll end up having infested a head. Because usually, when growing cabbages, the growth is always guaranteed for sure. Especially when you're taking a good care of it. Which includes watering and feeding. As you can see, you guys, look at this one. I think there is an infection which is causing the leaves to lose their original shape. So in other words, when you are trying to grow the different species from the cabbage family, you have to be extra cautious because you'll have to face many different challenges when it comes to whatever that is coming after your cabbages. Uh, first of all, the soil. In most cases, the soil is usually having a lot when it comes to worms. Uh, many different types of worms that are coming out from the soil or for your cabbages. And one of the worms that are very, very much dangerous that you should always look out for, they usually attack your cabbages at an early stage, during the seedling stage. These worms are, are called cutworms. It's a dark a caterpillar, which is very, very dangerous. It can simply cut off the seedlings. And another thing, you guys, as you can see in this video, planting other crops very closer to your baby cabbages is not advisable. As you can see, this one, the one that I'm trimming in this video, it's a, a beta mustard and spinach why am i saying it's very dangerous whatever that was eating or consuming that bitter mustard spinach it can simply or easily uh, pass to the uh, cabbages so i do not advise you to plant other crops near your cabbages and avoid overcrowding spacing between the baby cabbages is very very important so another thing you guys if it happens that you you choose the store-bought fertilizer for your cabbages please make sure that you don't overfeed them especially when they are already starting to form the firm head because that can uh, destroy the baby cabbages by simply causing the firm heads to uh, crack or split into halves so you need to avoid that when growing cabbages and another thing that you need to avoid immediately when your uh, cabbages start to form firm heads is to over water them please stop uh, doing over watering your cabbages well if you can take a closer look at this uh, baby cabbage you will notice that it has already formed multiple heads this is a sign of an infection there's a worm in this baby cabbage for sure 
whenever you see a crop like uh, the mustard bitter mustard spinach forming multiple heads and the cabbage is forming multiple heads that's a sign of an infection so what i am doing right now i am removing the other or the extra head and leaving the main one so i am going to make sure that i uh, treat this infected baby cabbages that's why i am not going to remove the infected heads some are, are showing signs of what of infection and some they are still healthy so i am not scared of any cabbage infection because it is easily uh, controllable or treatable if you can just simply remove start by removing the old leaves and then spray them you can also uh, try the homemade pesticide for your cabbages the bicarbonate of soda mix it with the sunlight liquid and also you can also try it with uh, the vinegar and mix it with water and then spray your cabbages that's a homemade uh, pesticide and also again this one is also showing signs of infection it is having an extra head so i am going to as you can see I had to remove the other head and leave the main one. So if you don't want to treat your baby cabbages, you can simply remove the infected ones or rather trim the parts that shows the infection. But I always advise uh, people to simply a treat especially when it is showing a signs of infection look at this one this one is heavily infected but i will treat it anyway that's why i'm not going to remove it i'm not going to just simply uproot the whole cabbage out no i'm going to uh, treat it it is very simple you guys i prefer the homemade pesticide over the store bought one What I've noticed about trimming of these old leaves, after trimming these old leaves, you'll notice that your cabbages will start looking more healthier than before you trimmed them. So keep on trimming those old leaves, you guys, because they, the more you get rid of them, healthier your cabbages will look so the second step is to simply uh, cultivate when you cultivate around your crops you simply release the, the locked nutrients in the soil 
I do believe that in the soil there are enough nutrients to maintain the uh, cabbages. So when you often cultivate, it simply means that you often release the locked in nutrients and also allow water to reach the roots easily. That's why when you plant in a cultivated area, you'll notice that there will be a faster growth compared to an uncultivated a piece of land or garden. So you need to cultivate often and at the third advantage of cultivating is simply it simply allows more air to reach the microorganisms in the soil. And these microorganisms, you guys, they are very, very important. They, they play a major role in uh, fixing nitrogen for these uh, plants. They simply fix nitrogen. They simply convert nitrogen into nitrate, which is the easiest way for the plants to receive nitrogen. So please keep on cultivating that will uh, promote water to reach the roots and also release nutrients that are locked in the soil and also allow air to reach the microorganisms in the soil so please do it very often and thank me later because sometimes you don't need to Keep on adding, adding more fertilizers. You only, you simply need to cultivate and just keep on watering after cultivating. You will notice the difference, you guys. You will notice immediately after cultivating, within a week, you will notice a rapid growth on your crops. So when applying the chicken manure today, I'm just going to make sure that I don't over fertilize the, the cabbages that are already having this uh, firm hair. Because uh, from now on, we don't need a rapid growth from those that are having the firm hair. We just only need them to grow a little bit so that you can harvest a bigger head than what you see in this video. We just want them to add a little bit more on their weight. So while we are waiting for them to get a little bit uh, more bigger, we should handle them with care by not overwatering them and overfeeding them because we might end up having some split heads. So you guys in this video I will be using the dry chicken manure. Instead of the tea, I avoid using the tea, especially during the rainy season, because it can get washed off easily. I've already said that. So what I'm going to be doing today, I am going to be simply burying the chicken manure around these baby cabbages. So that decomposition it can take place faster and the nutrients can be released faster. So after cultivating you guys, 
a watery is the third step remember the first step was to remove the old leaves and the second step is to simply cultivate and the third one is to water your uh, cabbages if you want to skip the watering parts before you apply the chicken manure you can go ahead and skip the watering part but before applying the chicken manure i usually water the crops first that is not really a snail you guys simply a shell a shell of a dead snail i just love keeping the shells around i find them very beautiful i don't know why i just love them as you can see i am always placing them in a position that you will think that it is alive whereas it is a dead Another thing that I like the most when it comes to growing uh, cabbages is because cabbages are not seasonal when it comes to growing them. You can uh, grow your cabbage whenever you want to grow your cabbage. You can grow your cabbage throughout the year, whether it's winter, spring, summer, or autumn. So I love cabbages because they are not seasonal the only thing that you have to fight when when it comes to growing your cabbages is simply a fight against the infections or the rather the worms and that's it once you pass that or conquer in that battle you will have beautiful uh, cabbages where it's the um, a heart shape 